was uh, April 1983, I believe it was, and uh, uh, he opened the case. He said, I, have some, I would like you to look at this file and to do some minor repairs. It was more than minor. So anyhow, I opened up the, the case of the violin and uh, I looked into the sound holes. That looks like the shape of an F. And I looked at it and I saw a sign. I said, Stradivarius. And he said, oh no, no, it's just a copy. I've had it since I was 16. Now this man's name was Julian Altman. If he took it to a, a luthier, a professional, that's the word, professional. I'm not even a professional. Uh, if he took it to that type of person, they would have picked it up right away. It wouldn't have gone any further. They would have started investigating. But he figured he'd uh, bring it to some guy up in the country somewhere, and he he wouldn't know any difference between a Stradivarius or a Chinese violin. So I think that's why he he, he came. In fact, and, and Joni, I think that's one of the big reasons why he came there.